They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well do you know yourself? held a press conference commemorating the end of the so-called Brood War some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real, but instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless, revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across six separate worlds.
troops ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. Hello, I'm the Virtual Brit, and I, this is my first video on YouTube, and I'm playing StarCraft. I'm going to start with Wings of Liberty, and I'm going to work my way through the uh, campaigns. I'm going to try and uh, get a couple videos of it out a week, and I'm going to do it in a tutorial-based way. I could probably do this on hard. I've done most of the uh, Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm on hard. I could probably do it on hard, but it's better to have a bit of breathing room and do it on um, normal, because some of, the, some of the time hard is just... It gets to a point where it's just marines and medics and it's not a great way to show off all of the other troops and upgrades and stuff. So I'm going to do it on normal just so that we can have a bit of variety. But at the moment in the first couple of missions it will just be marines and medics because that's all that you get until you leave Marsara which is the planet we're currently on. And which I think was in Starcraft 1 where Raynor found uh, Arturix, Arturus, I'm not quite sure. But uh, so we're going to start here, I'll start the mission. Adjutant, what do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, it'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. So with, uh, with this mission, I think you get Raynor and a couple Marines, and it's just to walk through the town and uh, liberate people. All right, and, boys. Let's show the with, locals uh, they don't need to fear the Dominion. Missions like this. <clears throat> and with missions like this, because you don't have uh, Marines or, or you don't have medics, sorry. You want to try and be a bit more, mi down. like do a bit of micromanagement with the uh, troops. It's not so important for this mission, it's the first Come mission. On. There are tutorial videos but the um, the whole point of it is so that you don't you don't lose Raiders troops because they don't you'd still rather have weak, more weak troops that do more damage Let's move. than uh, What's up? higher health uh, less damage troops. Now um, we're just going to ignore the tutorial videos, and the way Sounds to do like it plan. is just focus fire on one of their units at a time. Like at the moment, that's Sounds pretty like simple. Plan do that kind of thing but, but then you can um Time they do less damage to you you can count on me because uh, instead of them you killing them both at the same time they um instead of killing them both at the same time they uh can't with one less they do less damage it's easier to keep units against the dominion once we get medics, I think next mission is kind of more it's more of uh, the medics will just deal with your units it doesn't really matter on normal difficulty, my micro is not that right. important either until like the late, the really late Raiders missions roll. where it actually does get Time a bit harder on normal. Raiders roll. Where is yeah. everyone? Count on me. Thinks, like uh, he's the Time emperor now. currently, and he overthrew the Raiders old, roll. the old confederacy, and then made the dominion with Raynor, and he um. <laughs> this is he then betrayed Raynor and killed one of their group. Raiders Raynor was in love with. And now Raynor hates the guy. A large Dominion force is gathering in the center right, of town. Gonna... Then it's time to call in just that special guys we talked about. Raiders roll. What's up? Sounds like the land. Yeah, uh, could have probably got our way without losing any troops there, but. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raynor. I like one again. Sell me. That's Raynor. And the uh, the bonus objectives are on on missions where it doesn't really get you anything like these missions. It's, it's not hugely important, but I think it gets you more money. I'm not quite sure. I think it gets you more money. And in this, money is kind of super important to me. To, to get the upgrades, you want to get as much money as you can for the end for the very end of the mission where all the upgrades count and they're really needed. This is bad. You can count on me. And um, yeah. So I'm Break not really down. bothering to micro Sounds here at like all. Plan. Doesn't really need it. Time to man up. 
Raiders roll. Fine. There's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. Oh, Destroy civilians. Brutal. Move in. They um. Sounds like a plan. The Dominion you can basically can to enslave everybody that they can. Right, that's like that like vehicle turret at the back there will destroy all those low health units. So you gonna give this better be good. What's up? Put them at the back. You can it'll shoot the higher health ones first. Also, Raynor's good to go at the back because he has a bit slightly longer range than the uh, Marines. Thank you, Raynor. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more yeah, people still being held well, actually, yeah. They can take hits for you in a minute, like the Marines will come out, so you can then lose less of your troops. But it doesn't really matter if you lose Marines or whatever, because there's no achievement for it on this mission. Where were you, Raiders? Sounds like a problem. In Wings of Liberty, all, this like, all the achievements, there's uh, two for normal and one for hard, hard or brutal. We got so it's, you've just got to, if you like want to get all the achievements, you've got to play the game on hard. And um, just destroying the, uh, the uh, they're, see, they're useful here, this is where they're really useful, because they just stand here, and the Vikings shoot them instead, and so you can shoot. You can shoot Vikings while they're shooting civilians. I know it's kind of a, a brutal way to do it, but it uh, it stops you losing Marines, which is useful. Then we destroyed the outpost. This mission's a piece of cake. You know? It's not. You can do it on a. Uh, it's a bit harder on brutal because you've actually got to micro so that you don't lose too many people because fight them, their troops do more can. damage. Now you've got the weapons and the resources yeah, to do it. Their whole wings of lips about trying to overthrow him. Uh, Ming can uh, kill him. And, take him uh, away from being the Emperor. And yeah, as you can see, I've already done this mission on hard and I got the achievement for it. It wasn't a kill every enemy unit, it's not a difficult achievement. God, I lost three units. And, oh, okay, you do get a number for the civilians liberated, so if you if, if you die, then that number does go down, but it doesn't affect your uh, score because you don't get any money on this mission. And yeah, the, the cutscene that's coming up will have Tychus in. Finley. <laughs> nice suit. Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. <laughs> if 
Feels like old times already. Old times. Yeah, um, Tychus and Raynor, they were criminal criminal buddies together back in, back in the day before the uh, Zerg War, uh, where Tychus uh, got locked up for him and him and Raynor. Then Raynor went to fight the Zerg, which is, I think, where the skull comes from. And so how I'm going to do this is the, what I plan to do is do the mission and then do the bits after it, which relate to the mission that I've just done. And then I'll end the video and then I'll do another mission and do it like that for everything. Because then it kind of makes more sense, because if you're having to go to the next video to watch all of this, it's not going to make too much sense. Oh, there's the... See, it really confuses you, because they it makes it look like you shot this monitor, but it, he actually just shoots one of the smaller monitors, so it's not really that big of a deal. So we'll, first we'll go to the Viking. Uh, that's the uh, that's one of the flying ships. This well, looks recent. The, uh, ship, uh, the plane that could turn into a walker Jimmy. that we destroyed. Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Max. I guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then? Everyone needs a hobby. Oh, Raynor's hobby. Raynor's hobby for a long time has been revolutions. And Kerrigan. Sarah. Sometimes I think it would have been better if you just died. That was who uh, Octurus, Octurus Minx left behind, and that was why Raynor was pretty pissed at him. Because he left Kerrigan behind, who Raynor was in love with, they were in love with each other. And then Kerrigan got uh, killed, captured by the Zerg. She didn't get killed, she got captured by the Zerg. And now, and then you'll see who she is later on, it's only a couple of missions away. And then we'll speak to Sykes. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well, I busted out of my cryo freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water, made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up, buddy, with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. Yeah, um, Tychus got, uh, got freed by, uh, Obturus. Uh, but they also did this, like, they made, because when they fought the Zerg, they were, the Zerg were just, they, they did the Zerg rush. And so what they did was they, uh, made criminals into Marines and put them in a suit that they couldn't escape from, so that they could then fight the Zerg. And then we'll do the final one, the news. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN Studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talk to seem really encouraged by the... You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using stim packs? <laughs> Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. Yeah, the news is quite a funny section from uh, StarCraft. That's, that's the bit I like about it. Blizzard are good at cutscenes as well. Which that doesn't... Uh, that helps. They, are, they, they do some good cutscenes. And so I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. I know this episode really hasn't been much of a tutorial. It's more just being introduced and doing my first video. But uh, thanks for watching. I've been the Virtual Brick. And bye.